Hi, I'm Peter and today I'm going to show you how to check the battery on your motorhome to check if it's charging correctly and if there's anything wrong with it. And I'm also going to show you how to replace it. So let's have a closer look. First we need to remove this battery cover. It's just held on by little clips at the side here. These just flex out of the way. Once that's off, just get it out of the way. And the next thing, we want to go in with our voltmeter. So set it to two volts. Let's pop that down there. And let's have a read of what we've got. So, oh, let's go out of the way. Let's have a read of what we've got. We've got, so 11.45 volts. So not great. So the first thing to check is does the alternator work? So remove the voltmeter out of the way and start the engine up. So let's just start the engine up. Okay. Now I know on this particular van, I know the alternator works. So I'll show you how to check that in a minute. But while the battery's in here, what I will show you is how to do a load test. Okay, a load test will tell you the health of a battery. Even if the battery appears okay, charge is okay, a load test will tell you all you need to know about it. So to do a load test, you connect it to the terminals. This basically applies a heating element to it. As you can see, 11 and a half volts, which is, confirms what the voltmeter said. So you hold it on for 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, as you can see, it's not holding load. Does it recover? It doesn't. So this is, this is not a good battery. The fact it won't hold a constant load isn't great. Yeah. The load test has confirmed this is a duff battery. We knew that anyway, it wasn't holding charge. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll swap the battery. First thing to do is we undo the earth. So unplug this connector, tuck that out of the way. So we'll get that connector out of the way and that gives us access to this earth terminal. One thing I will say, before you remove this terminal, make sure you have your radio code because you will lose your radio code uh, in some cases. Some have a battery that lasts a length of time, others it will go. So always remove the earth lead or the negative first. The reason for that is if your spanner touches anything across here, it's not going to earth. Next thing to do, take the positive lead off again. Same procedure, another 10 mil spanner. Let's waggle that off. Right. Now, and out the way, tuck that there. Okay, there's another little uh, screw down there to undo, which releases the battery clamp. So I'll do that next, then we can hoik the battery out. Right, let's undo the battery clamp. I'll just move this so you can see it. it's down here. Now it's uh, loosening by hand now. So. On a Renault, this trim comes off. <laughs> ah, so that's how you do it. So there you go, that's the bracket out of the way. Right, now we can lift the battery out. go. Okay, let's pop him out of the way. Put the new battery next to the old battery. The first thing you want to check is they look physically similar. These, it's the same um, battery type, so uh, this looks uh, looks pretty identical in terms of size. If it looks wildly different, um, then uh, check the part number before you even get this far. But uh, we'll slot this in. Keep the terminal covers on for now. But the thing to note is that they sometimes have transit plugs. This one was bought mail order. They sometimes have transit plugs at either side. You need to remove those. That's for the, uh, the battery venting system on lead acid batteries. So very important to remove those. Right, we'll go and fit this in the car now. Right, 
So let's pop that back in the vehicle. Wiggle it through. There we go. Right, we'll get it in the centre for the clamp, which is around there. So the last thing we'll do is put the terminals on. So I put the bracket back on. Let's check the orientation. It's a lot easier now I know to remove that plastic cover. Hey ho. Okay. Start that off. Okay. Starting to clamp up. We won't go mad on that. Right. Put this nice convenient removal trim back. Right, there we go. And then we'll undo this cap for the positive. We've already checked this battery's fully charged by the way. Most batteries are supplied fully charged. So we'll pop on the new cover. You can put a smear of grease uh, on there if you'd like. Most people use petroleum jelly for that. All right, so I'll just tighten this clamp up. Make sure it's uh, good and tight. All right, that's fine. Okay, we'll just check that this clip can attach without uh, straining the wire. Yeah, that looks absolutely fine there. So before I tighten up the clamp, just get the battery aligned and check all the wiring goes back without tightening everything. Right, and then just unclip the wiring and do the final tight down, tighten down of the battery clamp. Now that we're happy with the position of it, that's that tightened down there. Right, take away, and we can pop this back on. And we need to adjust that because it's not in the right position again. loose until we've uh, got the battery position for the uh, cable position where we want it. Right, that's good and tight. And tighten up this earth strap clamp. Okay, it's not pulling on anything. And Reclip the wiring in place and again it wants to be nice and free and not have any strain on the cabling. Right, that's fine. Okay, so that's the new battery in place. I've already tested this so I know it's fully charged, but we'll just have another look at it just to make sure. Okay. Oh, I'm a bit worried then, it's just a bit of corrosion on there it was picking up on. So yeah, make sure you've got a good connection. So 2.4 volts. So what we'll do now, we'll do what I want to do in the first place with the other battery. We'll start the engine. Let's get that out of the way. So we'll start the engine and I'll show you how to check the alternator. Okay, with the engine started, making sure you're not in the way of any belts or anything like that. Get your voltmeter in place, set to volts, place it on the two terminals. You should see with the alternator working, it will go up to about 13, 14 and something volts. In this case, it's 14.3. So that tells me my alternator's on and charging the battery. So there's nothing wrong with this alternator. Normally you'd start off by checking the alternator once you've got the battery started, just in case you didn't actually need a battery and the fault was a, a duff alternator. In this case, I knew the I'd already checked it, so I knew the alternator was good. But that's how you check the alternator. So 4.3 volts or so it's showing there with the engine on. So I switch the engine off. Right, so if I switch the engine off and measure the voltage, it'll be around 12, 12.4 uh, 12 again. So 12.4 12 
12.67 so it's managed to shove a little bit of vaulting quite quickly so it just shows you how uh, effective alternators are it doesn't need a lot to get them going the final thing to do is just to put the cover back in place these covers protect it from water it's just literally a water shield so that's how to change the battery on your motorhome if you like what i'm doing please subscribe